Hey everyone, Adam Zollinger here from LearnArchViz. Welcome to my channel all about architectural visualization. If you're interested in free ArcViz content or possibly joining some of my professional training courses, along with over 100,000 other students, you're in the right place. While you are here, make sure to like and subscribe if you benefit from the content. I try to post all my free stuff here on this channel, plus previews and discounts for any paid content. So click the bell icon if you want to be notified of all the latest. Thanks for watching. The following video is a free preview from a larger course. Follow the links in the description to find the best deal for the full content. Okay, let's move on from the texturing and let's look at the cushions. The cushion's gonna be pretty easy to create, but I'll show you a few tricks with it too that makes it a little better than the average. Okay, the chair is good. We've got our cording still there, I hope. There we go. Let's make it match. Now, you'll notice we didn't unwrap the cording, but we can if we want or if we need to. I think in this case we're okay. It could just be a solid material. Okay, there's our chair with the turbo smooth applied. Fantastic. Let's make a cushion. So a cushion will start off very basic. It could start off even just as a standard primitive box. Give it a little height. Okay, now again, okay, we need to make sure this is only tiling one time. Driving me nuts back there. Too much chaos. Okay. So in this case, okay, so here, let's take this chair or this cushion, this basic box. And I think we'll just immediately convert it to edit poly and add a bunch of geometry into it. And again, we want it to be kind of equal on all sides. And it needs enough that we can add the appropriate amount of detail. So we'll connect it that way and this way, like that. And then of course, I mean, it's gonna be fairly basic that these faces are gonna be higher then the other face, if we look at the pictures from the front, you can see that there's a lot of pillowing that's going on there. So it's like way up here. Bonk. Okay, and the bottom is kind of the same. Or we can symmetry it down, right? We could do a symmetry like this. Do the Y symmetry, no, the Z symmetry, yes. And then move the axis up. Okay, now we have a basic pillow. Let's just collapse that. And then of course, this line here, we'd wanna scale that out a little bit so it pillows out there. And then these lines, loop them around. What we can see in the picture is those lines have a seam on them, okay? So again, we can do our little extrude trick by adding a little base to it. No, adding a base to it and then going back in. Oh, and we didn't get it looped all the way around. We have to loop each side. Yep, okay, now extrude. It might be a little heavy actually on the extrusion. Let's see. Maybe something like that. You won't really know until you turbo smooth it. It's not bad. Okay, we just need to get more variation in the heights here. Like, like this. And then from the front too, or from the side I mean. Sometimes we'd want to push this closer up to the front and in back the pillowing is less maybe. So our cushion looks like this, it's kind of a weird shape, but when we turbo smooth it, everything's working pretty well. 
One thing I do sometimes is maybe add some noise, some variation into especially this part of the chair. Maybe let's do double on both of those and add some more connections here maybe. This is optional, but it can help. Yeah, let's not do those ones. Let's just, yeah, let's do that. All along like this, connect. Okay, so we're just adding a lot of geometry for the sake of this front part. We can then select it all. Not that, not this. With that selected, you can add a noise just to that part like this, noise modifier with that selected, set it to fractal maybe, set it to one, and then choose the X and Y for it to move in. That's a little bit too much, obviously. Maybe the scale can be higher. That's just adding variation. And then to make that work, then you would need to kind of collapse it. That's a simple way to add some more variation. Now when you turbo smooth, we do want to make sure that this all still got that billowing effect coming out, the pillowing or billowing, whatever you call it. Okay, so it's still rounded like that. Let's do this one more like this. And this one more like this. Just shaping it in the most basic form and then when it turbo smooths it will give you the smoothed out version of the same thing okay so you can see there's a little bit of rippling going on in there now which is great for this particular cushion we are getting some harder edges in places that we don't want them like here because of all those extra edges that we added so that's something worth watching out for or something you definitely should watch out for Okay, there's a final thing that I want to talk about with kind of these edits on pillows that we can do, and that would be like an FFD modifier. So with FFD, and it should probably go before the turbo smooth, but we can go in and do large scale adjustments by it, it creates a lattice around it. So what I usually like to do is take this center part, scale it out more like this so that we get more below. We turn that on and off like that you can see and then maybe that center part just the center part can pull up a little bit it's like soft selection it can do these really soft motions on your objects so ffd can be a powerful powerful tool maybe turbo smooth it one more time and we have a nice soft looking pillow there it's not low poly by any means but that's okay like i said it's about the end result here and then we can do the same stuff that we did before where we go in and say, okay, let's do an edit poly and go in here and loop, select and create shape. Then we can just delete the edit poly, grab that shape and maybe move the whole thing up a little bit to right there. Okay, maybe render it a little bigger to match the chair. Okay, we have a nice seam there. We have a nice billowing effect on that pillow, much like the picture in back. Set this down so it kind of intersects a little bit. And then you could use that FFD modifier to flatten out that bottom a little bit so the cushion kind of sits on there. Let's grab both this and this, put an FFD on it. And the lattice for the FFD can be set to whatever you want, actually. But the, uh, the 4x4 standard works pretty good. And like with this one, we could pull out the whole front a little bit. There's so much you can do. And I think with the bottom, we want to make it flattened some, like this. Okay, and then maybe bring these sides down a little bit, like that. Maybe bring this whole thing down a little bit, 
like that and maybe put these out to the edges with a non-uniform scale like that okay so it gives us a different shape there I like that I like that a lot there there's our cushion 